In this tutorial, we will show how to use the Carbon Balance tool. Much of the world's electricity generation is still reliant on carbon-emitting fossil fuels. Carbon dioxide emission from electricity generation are a major contributor to global warming and climate change. Electricity is produced by the power plants that are operating on a particular regional grid. Those power plants could be a combination of carbon-emitting fossil fuel generators, such as coal or gas, and carbon-free generators such as wind and solar. Different regional electric grids have different makeups of power plants depending on the resources available within that region. This means that the carbon emission from the grid will vary depending on the location the electricity is being consumed. The reasoning behind the carbon balance tool in PVSYST is that the electricity produced by the PV installation will replace the same amount of electricity in the existing grid. The carbon balance tool will allow to estimate the saving in CO2 emissions expected for the PV installation. The basis of these calculations are so-called life cycle emissions, LCE, which represents the emission of CO2 associated with the given component or energy amount. These values include the total life cycle including production, transport, operation, maintenance, disposal, etc. If the carbon footprint of the PV installation per kilowatt hour is smaller than the one of the grid electricity production, there will be a net saving of the carbon dioxide emission. Thus, the total carbon balance for the PV installation is the difference between the produced and saved CO2 emission. To estimate the carbon balance of the grid-connected project, open the economic evaluation and click Carbon Balance. And it depends on four key factors. The e-grid, project lifetime, LCE grid, and the LCE system. The e-grid represents the system production or energy yield of the PV installation for one year taken from the PVC simulation of the current variant. Additionally, you can define an annual degradation, which is set to 1% by default, and which represents a yearly decrease. The project lifetime is the lifetime of the PV installation, given in years. It determines together with the e-grid the total amount of energy that will be replaced by the PV installation. The LCE grid is given in gram CO2 per kilowatt hour and represents the average amount of CO2 emissions per kilowatt hour for the electricity produced by the grid. For the LCE grid there are three options to control the level of detail with which this value will be computed. By choosing country IEA, predefined values for the LCE grid will be used. The selection allows to choose a value published by the International Energy Agency, IEA. These values represent the average CO2 emission in 2010 per kilowatt hour of electricity production for different countries or regions. By choosing manual, the value is supplied by the user and will be taken as it is for the calculation. A comment field will pop up where the user can supply text specifying the source of the value and which will appear on the final report. Energy mix gives the most detailed control on how the grid LCA will be determined. A separate tab called Grid Energy Mix will appear where a detailed computation can be performed. The Grid Energy Mix is a breakdown of the different sources of electricity production in a given grid. In the left column of the tab, 11 different types of electricity production are listed. The second column specifies the CO2 emission per kilowatt hour associated with each of these sources. By default, the value given here comes from the IPCC publication and represents the 50th percentile of meta-study performed on 296 publications. You can also choose to supply custom values. In this case, you should have good sources giving reliable values for the grid you are considering. The third column specifies the fraction of the different production types for the grid. Default values exist for several European countries and are taken from the study conducted at the Paul Scherer Institute PCI in Switzerland. If you do not find the country of the installation in the list, or if you have more reliable values, you can choose the custom option and supply these values yourself. The resulting LCE grid value is computed automatically as the selection are performed and displayed on the right side of the tab. The LCE system is giving in ton CO2 and represents the total amount of CO2 emission caused by the construction and operation of the PV installation. 
For the emission associated with the construction of the PV installation, the PVC's user will have to get those values either directly from the manufacturer or suppliers of the different components, or to resort to dedicated databases like EcoInvent, Carbon Trust, etc. The difficulty of the calculation lies in finding appropriate values for the LCE of the different contributions. Often these figures are known with little precision. Furthermore, they are very specific to certain technologies or production methods. Last but not least, there can also exist controversy on how these numbers are or should be calculated, and different authors will report different values. By choosing manual, the value is applied by the user and will be taken as it is for the calculation. A comment field will pop up where the user can supply text specifying the source of the value and which will appear on the final report. PVCs provides the possibility to define a more detailed breakdown on the CO2 emissions associated with the different components of the PV installation. The potential source of CO2 emissions are grouped in three categories with different subcomponents. PV module, balance system, and additional. If reliable life cycle emission figures for a component are directly available for a manufacturer or some other data source, this value can be used preferentially. If these numbers are not available, some of the components allow to estimate the LCE via the gray energy, which is the energy involved in the production of this component. In this case, a conversion factor is needed to convert the gray energy into LCE value. The LCE value are given in kilogram CO2 per unit. The unit depends on the category and the user's choice. For each category, you have to supply also the quantity. Where possible, PVCist will insert values that are taken from the current variant. For each category, the contribution to the total CO2 amount is computed and displayed in the last column. The total value is given in the bottom in tons of CO2 and will be calculated automatically as changes are made to the different field in the tab. This value will be immediately reflected in the Overview tab. There are four values for the result. The total saving of CO2 emissions in tons of CO2 over the expected lifetime of the PV installation. The yearly saving of CO2 emissions in ton CO2 per year. The saving of CO2 emissions per installed power given in ton CO2 per kilowatt peak. The yearly saving of CO2 emissions per installed power given in ton CO2 per kilowatt peak per year. The yearly values are average over the entire lifetime, taking into account the annual degradation. You can choose whether you wish for the carbon balance to appear on the printed report by checking this button. If selected, the results and any added comments will appear on the end of the project report.